so here we are with the uh, long-awaited follow-up video to the most popular video on this channel which is the um, salt doing square roots by hand without a calculator now you know there have been hundreds of comments uh, great comments on that on that video many of them are referring to different methods of solving um, some of which involve um, you know series some of which involve calculus uh, some of which in the most of the most common uh, is people are saying why not just use the Newton Rassen Rassen method uh, because it's it's guaranteed to give you the correct results and I think the uh, with no disrespect meant to the viewers which I appreciate the comments and all that but the idea here is that this should be really easy right all those other methods are you know like the method I use in that video I've not used that method uh, basically since I made that video because uh, it's it's too complicated so I found a simpler method um, it's what I'm calling the modified Babylonian method. And um, kids as young as nine years old can, can do this in their heads, can, can do square roots using this method in their heads without a calculator in about 30 seconds. Okay. So it's simple and it's fast. Now, what are the cons? I mean, you do lose something. Um, you, you lose precision beyond the tenths place. Okay. And it's also not an iterative uh, method. So it only has a one pass. And then what you get when you're done is what you get. And that leads me to the final con, which is due to the, the way that this uh, procedure works, if the number you're trying to estimate or approximate the square root of is really, really close to a perfect square, like, like 48 or 37, then this method will be much less uh, effective and, and accurate and precise than if you were somewhere in the middle, okay, between 36 and 49, like the example we're going to show here, which is 42. Okay, that's like a good distance between both. All right, so let's do the method. We are going to find... Um, the approximation of the square root of 42. And uh, here's, how, here's how you set this up. So in your mind, think, of, think of to yourself, um, what, um, what perfect square is smaller than 42, uh, but is the closest to 42? And you should be thinking 36, okay? So 6 times 6 is 36. Four, uh, 7 times 7 is 49. That's too big, so you got to go with 36. So it's approximately equal to, and then what you're going to do is write the radicand, or the, the number you're trying to find the root of, uh, 42. And then you're going to add 36. And then that's all going to go over to times the principal square root of 36. And all I'm saying uh, principal square root just means the positive root. Okay, so no negative roots here. So let's do this. Um, uh, you know, as I, if I'm teaching the kids, you know, I'm telling them to do this in their heads, right? So it's like, okay, 40 plus 30 is 70, plus 2 plus 6 is 8. 78 over... Okay, square root of 36, it's a perfect root, uh, perfect square, so its its roots are identical, 6 times 6, so 6 times 2 is 12. Okay, can I reduce this fraction? Absolutely, I can. Divide 78 and 12 both by 2, that's the greatest common factor, they're, between them they're both even, and you end up with uh, 39 over six okay now what you need to do is uh do the the, the division you know if you can't do it in your head just do the division on paper 
6 doesn't go into 3. 6 goes into 39. Uh, well, 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 7 is 42. So 6, that's 36. Okay. Now, uh, 9 minus 6 is 3. And then we put the decimal point and we bring down a zero and we say, well, how many times does six go into 30? That's five. Five times six is 30. And that terminates the long division algorithm, right? There's no remainder. So we'll say, uh, over here we'll say, uh, I don't know, therefore, so those three dots means therefore, uh, the square root of 42 is approximately equal to 6.5. And um, I would say uh, plus or minus, um, is an error margin of error um, plus or minus the uh, like a, a, a fifth two ten two tenths okay um, maybe a half okay but just call it plus or minus uh, let's do let's let's go crazy and say plus or minus uh, one 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 tenth okay so point one right let's see if we were right mm. the square root of 42 6.4807 okay. so the calculator Give six point four eight zero seven. Okay, dot dot dot. So we were. Uh, that's a pretty accurate calculation. Um, so that's the method. Uh, I want to go over it again, uh, just so you understand the method. You come up with some root that you want to find, like the square root of, let me think of a number here, uh, like the square root of 55, right? And the way you would do that, uh, set that problem up, I'll, I'll let you solve it. So that's going to be approximately equal to the number you're trying to find the square root of, 55, plus the lowest, uh, the, the, the greatest uh, perfect square that's less than 55, so plus 49, over 2 times the square root of 49. 2 times the square root of 49. Okay, so let's just do this again. Um, so we have uh, 50 plus 40 is 90, and then we have 14. So that's 104. divided by 2 times 7, which is 14. Um, this is where um, this problem can be a little... So these, when you get up here like this, you get a situation like this, the division is going to be a little tougher for the kids. But that's not that bad, so just say 104. And... 
14. And you kind of have to, you're kind of out of luck, right? You kind of have to guess well, how many times will it go into 104. The way I try to tell the kids to think about it is, well, think about what you know. You know that uh, 5, for, for example, you know 5 times 15 is 75. So 6 times 15 would be 90. And 7 times 15 would be like 105. So maybe it's 7, you know. And so you just kind of tr 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 try it out, you know. So let's try 15. Uh, or I'm not 15, but 14 times 7, okay. So, sorry. Um, let's see if 14 times 7 is close to, uh, and le but less than 104. And that there we can't fit another 14 in there. Okay, so 28, 98. Oh, yeah. So it's definitely 7, right? So we got 98. And... I can't take a 8 from 4, so I got to borrow all the way over here. And then it's uh, 14 minus 8 is 6. And that's it. 9 minus 9 is 0. And so I'm going to put a period, decimal point, whatever. Invent a 0, come down here. How many times will 14 go into 60? Well, 15 goes into 60 four times. Okay, so I'm going to go with 4. I'm just going to just guess. Um, now, 4 times 14, can we handle this in our heads? Sure. 40 plus 16 is uh, 56. Okay. 56. That's going to leave behind 4. How many times does 14 go into 40? Well, um, You know, 15 times uh, 3 is 45. So, I'm thinking twice. So, what's 14 times 3? That's 12 plus 30. Too big. It's 2. So, 2. And then you just say 14 times 2 is 28. Okay. And then we're back to uh, 120 here. And uh, how many times does 14 go into 120? Um, well, we began this discussion with uh, 7 times 14 being 98. So I could fit one more 14 in there. That would be an 8, right? So 14 times 8 is... Uh, uh, 80 plus 32, what is that, 122, wait, hold on, 14 times 8, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not the, there's actually much smarter people in my, in my mental math group than uh, me at school, so, uh, 24, okay, Fourteen times eight. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. That's uh, eleven. One hundred twelve. Yeah, perfect. So uh, one hundred twelve. And let's stop there. Okay, we don't need. So um, we're not going to be rounding up this four. So we're going to say. Um, Therefore, the square root of 55 is approximately equal uh, to 7.4, okay? Now, what is the actual square root? The square root of 55 is 
sorry, 7.4. Uh, <laughs> nice, right? Um, so that's the, that's the method. And um, we'll just uh, stop it there. I think this is infinitely easier than the method that I've been, uh, that's in that video, which I haven't used. And honestly, I don't even, when people ask me questions about it, I don't know the answers because I can't even remember how it works um, on that other video. But um, it, 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 it literally represents half the channel's monthly views. I'm hoping that this video will replace that one because um, this is better, you know, it's it's more useful, it's quicker. And uh, you just remember that as you get closer to a perfect square, your um, the thing you're trying to find the root of, if it's really close to a perfect square, this method will become less and less um, accurate as you get closer and closer to those perfect squares. Um, but again, for for uh, a quick calculation that you can tip, you can do in your head, you know, you could have done all of this in your head, especially the first problem, right? Um, then uh, this is infinitely preferable over any other method that I've found. Um, I never intended these videos to be how to perfectly uh, how to use some algorithmic iterative. Um, uh, recursive process to find each perfect decimal point. The point was, how do I like get a good as approximation of the square roots as fast as possible without with as least amount of work as possible? And this method that I've shown here um, is the best way I've ever found. Please let me know in the comments if you found an easier way. Otherwise, uh, please like, subscribe, uh, comment, and uh, hit that notification bell so you're always alerted when I release new videos. Thank you.